Hi, I'm Tap the Bomer with Girl Scouts of Southwest Texas, and I'd like to welcome you back to our virtual troop meeting for the Think Like a Citizen Scientist K-5 through journey. This series of virtual troop meetings will help your troop or individual girl to fulfill the requirements of the Think Like a Citizen Scientist journey for K-5. through Did you miss our first three meetings? If you did, please check them out on YouTube and catch up on the journey. Let's go ahead and start our meeting by reciting the Pledge of Allegiance and the Girl Scout Promise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. The objective of this journey is to sharpen girls' observation skills through fun activities, explain why it is important for scientists to use observation, and for girls to be introduced to citizen science, science by participating in a citizen science project. To complete this journey, follow these steps. Find out how citizen scientists make observations, collect data, and work with scientists. Sharpen your observation skills through two observation games and a size starter project. And plan a take action project that helps others. The curriculum for the Think Like a Citizen Scientist K-5 through journey can be found on the volunteer toolkit known as the VTK. We're working on virtual troop options for older girls and we'll provide some soon. What you will need for this meeting today will include paper and pen so that you can plan your take action project. Remember, just like scientists work together, you will be working together to do your take action project. As you plan today, think about how a scientist would plan a project. First, they would choose a purpose or a problem. You already did this when you brainstormed ideas and commented on our uh, previous meetings about take action. You should choose one to focus on. Then scientists will make an observation with lots of details. They make field notes, which become their data, and their data can be analyzed and shared. After they review their data, scientists use all they have observed and studied to create a solution of their own original problem or scientific question. Now you should know what your project is, but you might not quite realize how you're going to make it happen. Today, think about all the little details you might need to consider and bring them together to form a plan on how you will take action to help others. One thing to consider about your project is whether it's community service or a take action project. Let's review how to tell the difference. A community service project addresses an immediate need. It addresses a problem by working with or for a community partner, makes community better for some people right now, the contribution to the community is usually, but not always measurable, and not usually long lasting or continuous. Examples of community service include collecting donations for a food bank, cleaning up your local park, or weeding uh, in a community garden. Usually it's about a two hour or several, you know, hours of your time during a day, one and done, and then you go on and have a nice day. Community service is great, but we wanna take a focus on take action projects. Here's what they look like. They address a need, immediate or not, addresses the root cause of a problem by working with and not for a community partner, creates a lasting impact on the community, the contribution to the community is always measurable and includes provisions to ensure sustainability long after girls are involved in the project. So an example of a take action project might be lobbying your park for more trash and recycling bins, building a compost bin and creating brochures about composting, or developing a PR campaign that addresses the food bank's year round needs. This is something that should last after your project is over to be sustainable. Also be sure there is an actual need. Don't get caught up thinking you need to do a specific project because it's something you want to do. You might want to make uh, and donate face masks, but do not do that until you've checked in with someone to see if they need them. You don't want to spend all your time making these beautiful masks and then having no one to use them. With that in mind, we're going to brainstorm and design our take action projects. If you've already come up with the take action project, please send it in the comments so we can learn about what you're working on. 
So some of our ideas that we really liked from your comments before included cleaning trash and stop littering, teaching others how to wash their hands properly, conserving water, helping Australia with wildfire relief, helping the homeless, finding cures for diseases and cancer, and educating others about what doctors do. And what's nice is some of these on the surface sound like just community service, such as cleaning trash and stopping litter, but they can be turned into a take action very easily. I'll show you how. So for example, during our iNaturalist project, I noticed that there was a lot of tri uh, trash that was in our river near our park. At the park, it was great, but near it, not as well. So some of the solutions that we could come up with is to educate and inspire. So I could come up with a video about not polluting the river, not littering, pick up your trash. I could do a poster campaign for our locals who spend time there. Another suggestion is to make it permanent. So I could work with the park about getting permanent signs, showing them where the trash cans are. So that way it's a little more permanent than a poster board. I could also organize an annual cleanup of the river. And then there's one more solution that after doing some research, I found out our Uvalde County River region provides biodegradable bags to tourists. So when the tourists go tubing on our rivers, they are given a yellow bag that they can fill with trash and leave at certain spots. So I could work with them to create and expand that campaign to my area. So that's one way to turn a community service or action item into a take action project. If you want to complete another citizen science project, here are some questions to think about. What citizen science project are you going to do? How can you learn more about the new project? And is there anything else you need to do to prepare? When will you complete the project? What materials do you need? Do you want to invite others to join in on your project? Who? And how do you want them to join? If you want to make a video, what will you say in your video? How will you film it? Do you want to wear costumes or add music? Who will you show it to? Will you show it online, having an adult post it safely? If you want to create posters or brochures, who can you ask permission to put up posters on walls? And who should you ask permission from? Once you do obtain permission, what will the poster say? Where will they go? What will they look like? And how do you get others to join you in helping with this project? The ideas are endless. Great teamwork is important. And if you're working with others on this project, even if it is just virtually, be sure that everyone takes turns and that everyone has a role. Let's go ahead and write down or draw our ideas. Some that I've already wrote down that we can consider is what kind of time is needed for this action project, the resources needed, who is going to benefit from the project, who can help such as adults and friends, is further research required, how is this helping beyond now? So that is the sustainability part of our project. So how it's helping in the future once we're done with our part in the project. Is any kind of permission required? Where will the project be seen? Digitally, in person? Does the project require something to be made? So an example is if you decided to do masks to donate to the hospital, make sure that you have a way of getting those masks how are you gonna get them done? Are you gonna have others make them? Are you gonna make them? Be sure to think about that. Our other example with the bags at the river for trash, how are you getting the bags? What will be done with the bags afterwards? Think of all the different ways that adults can help you on this project as well. So don't let the parents do everything for you. Be sure to include them though so that they can help you on things you might need help with such as having them call city officials for you to meet with them for your take action proposal. And maybe they can help you with your to-do list. You do need a to-do list for your project so you can keep track of what materials are needed, people you need to talk to or get permission from, how much time you're gonna need, and who can help with each part of the project. We would love for you to share what you designed for the Take Action Project in the comments. 
You can also share your plan with other people after this meeting, such as family, friends, and other girls in your troop. Even though we may not be able to see them in person, you can get feedback from each other by sharing via email, text, or phone call. Each of you has something special to contribute to others, even if we're not in the same room, the same state, or the same country. Citizen Science brings together people of all different backgrounds to add to the world's scientific knowledge. Scientists use data from citizen scientists just like you to find out new things about our world. Scientists use what they know to create solutions that help others, like helping people when they're sick, keeping our communities safe from pollution, and many other things. It's important for us to work as a team and share our new knowledge about citizen science as we create and carry out our Take Action project. Be sure to ask for help when you need it, and be sure you are using your skills as a scientist during the process. Be sure to share your Take Action project with us on Facebook or tag us using at Girl Scouts SWTX. Thank you so much for joining our virtual troop meeting series. Over the course of our virtual meetings, you have earned your Think Like a Citizen Scientist Award, which means you've learned how to solve problems and answer scientific questions like a scientist. You also completed a citizen science project where you collected and recorded data to help real scientists do their work. Once you completed your Take Action project, you will have earned the Think Like a Citizen Scientist journey and the Take Action Award since you have done something to make the world a better place. Don't forget to add your journeys to your vest to show you've completed your journey. Remember, a Girl Scout leaves a place cleaner than she found it, so be sure to do so with your Take Action project. And now we'll close our meeting. Thank you again for joining us for our virtual troop meeting. And don't forget to wash your hands.